Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper, and it is Free Tutorial Friday. <laughs> it's got its own little theme apparently. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be using the Festive Post. We're going to make making a cute little Halloween card. I typically don't make the Halloween cards, but I thought this little October 31st and these bats were super cute, so I'm going to be using those. And then I'm going to be using the Buffalo Checks. We've got the um, Everyday Label Punch. I've got a dauber here. We've got Pumpkin Pie and Basic Black Stampin' Write Markers. I also have Basic, uh, well, Tuxedo Black Memento Ink and Pumpkin Pie Ink. We're going to be using our Stamparatus today. And I've got Basic Black, Pumpkin Pie, two sheets of Whisper White, and then a scrap of Whisper White. So let's go ahead and get started. If you need the dimensions of any of this, or if you want to print out directions, um, I do have a free tutorial on my website, beautyinthestamper.com. You can always purchase any of the materials that I'm using um, on my online site, Jean Pearsani. Dot stampin up dot net. and of course you could sign up for my newsletter as well I'm gonna put this down on here and I'm using the gridded paper and I'm going at this line and that line there that way when I push this down comes right up and I know exactly where I'm at and then I'm going to take a sheet of my whisper white and I think if I use this other line here I'm just going to double check but I think That'll get everything I need. Yes, it will. Okay. So now what I'm going to do... Actually, I was going to use these. I'm not going to just because I'll take it right off. But we're going to go ahead and use our uh, pumpkin pie. And let me just open that. Why all of a sudden I forgot how to open these? I don't know. There we go. <laughs> I just put this under here. It gives it a little bit of stability. And then we're going to ink up the buffalo checks really well. I love these large background stamps and I love the stamparatus for using those. And then we're just going to close this, rub it around here, make sure we get everything, and then there it is. Now I am going to get my uh, take your pick tool just to pick it off here. did not want to come out, but that's okay. Remember, I lined it up. Where did it not come out at? I'm just lining these back up because I know that once I line it up, I could use this again. It looks like it's right there that's not happening. I'm just going to ink it right back up. I think we're good and lined up. <laughs> I'm really going to 
push this side down. Right? I'm telling you, you can always count on me. And look at that. Now we've got it all good. All right, I'm going to clean this guy off with my little chamois here. Because now that I got that part, I'm going to do a little uh, offsetting and change the color. Because, I mean, you know what Halloween colors are, right? So we got the black and the orange. So I'm leaving that as is. And what I'm going to do is I had it here before. Right? So now I'm going to move it over and down. Just about a quarter of an inch. That's it. Now this one I do have to get in one shot. So I'm taking my Memento and we're going to rub it on there. I feel like Memento goes best rubbed on for some reason, at least for me. So I always rub on it first and then I tap to get rid of any uh, lines. Okay, again, I feel like we only have one shot at this one this time because I have it where I have it placed. So I'm just using those grid lines. I went over a an eighth of an inch it would be so that it's just a little bit off. And now I'm going to take that, close it back up, and I'm really going to push down everywhere. And I'm going to go like that. Now I'm going to take my little magnets off. You really got to keep these magnets separate. And then I'm going to take this part and really go over it because I do not want that to have to redo it. So I think we've got it. I don't think I could do much better than this. Try not to do that, but look at how cool that came out. Isn't that cool? So it's a little bit different take on the Buffalo checks and I'm just going to clean this off. I know it takes a little bit longer, but it's better to have it at least cleaned as much as possible. And then after the cameras roll, then I could really get in there. but at least get most of it off right now. All right. So that's all we need for the Stamparatus. If you have any problems, like with your hands, or, um, you know, anything like that, or if you have children that you want to stamp with, Stamparatus is the way to go, for sure. So I've got that stamped and off to the side. We've got our other pieces. So I'm going to bring those out so we can stamp and get them prepared. Alright. You're just going to take this guy and fold it right in half. And we're just building all of our pieces now. Once I've burnished that down with my bone folder. This piece is just a background so I'm going to set that one off to the side as well. And then we've got a little bit of stamping to do. I'm actually going to do this. This is the inside of the card. And I've got these adorable little bats. And I'm only going to put a few here and there. So 
So we're just going to put some right there. And then another set right down here. And I think we are good just to give it a little bit. And then you can hand write your note in there. And then the final thing is we're going to do the one that says October 31st. And let me show you. For this, we're going to use our orange and black and then just a little dauber as well. And I'm going to take the lightest color and we're going to start out here. And I'm just going to go about halfway down of the 13. So the October is going to be total pumpkin pie. And the bottom half of the 31st is going to be basic black. And then you can go up a little bit there. And then I'm going to take that dauber and just kind of blend the two together. And then go back over it here. And just keep playing with it until you're comfortable with what you're looking for. And again, I'm just going to blend that out very little. Okay. So now I'm going to take this. We're just going to stamp it right in the center. Oh, you can huff. And that's just blowing hot air from your mouth onto it. And push that down. Let that ink get all the way over there. And look at that. All right. I'm going to take this. Line up our everyday label punch. Just like that. And we're going to bring all this back. And now I'm going to show you a little trick. We're going to be using um, this, but I don't want it set just against that background. So I'm going to take and I'm going to stick this right in the center and punch out a piece. like that because that is going to be hidden okay so let's go ahead and put this all together I'm going to use some uh, multi-purpose glue on this and this will be the inside Perfect. And then we're going to do the same here. And just put our layers together. There we go. Now see, that's going to get all covered up now. And then we're going to go along here. 
You can use stamp and seal if you'd like. I just want to be able to move this around a little bit in case I need to line it up. I absolutely love the way this background turned out. All right. Now we are going to take our paper snips and we're just going to cut it right in half. And then I'm going to take this and line that up and give a nice little background right there. And you can do it again in black if you want. If you want it to be layered. And then I'm going to do the same with this side. And there we go. We're just going to let that sit for just a second. Okay. I've got my Stampin' Dimensionals, and then I have some Gilded Gems. And the reason I chose these, I could have gone with some champagne, but I want these to be black. So I'm, And I want them to be large. So I'm going with the Gilded Gems, which are new to me, but I like the size of them. So I'm going to take my stamp and blends and I'm going to do a dark um, basic black well this is a light basic black but I'm going to just go around and this is going to give it uh, a black color sorry for the baby he's not feeling well and you're still going to be able to see a tint a very little tint of that gold showing through. So because I'm using the light, it doesn't black it out completely. And because it is gold, it's not see-through, so it's not um, going to be super um, gem-like. So you see the difference there? And you're just going to let those dry real quick. And while I'm doing that, we're going to set up our little October 31st, and you can place this wherever you'd like. I am going straight in the middle, of course. Where'd that piece go? <laughs> so I'm just going to go and put four of them on here. Thought I lost it. I didn't. <laughs> I love the take your pick tool. I think I say it every single time. Hopefully by the time I make my next card, I have a better manicure. But I love this little ombre type effect there. If you can see, it's not a straight across line. It's kind of blurry right there, which is really cool. And then I'm just going to take this stick it right in the middle. We're going to get out our little gilded gems there. And take that one off. And put it right down there. And then the same with the other piece. And that's it. It's just a cute little card. It's not spooky. It's nothing um, too bad. But I think it is a super cute and very fall looking Halloween card. If you like this, please give me a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. And then of course, 
always go to beautyinthestamper.com where you can see my tutorials that are free every Friday and Tuesday. All right, beauties, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye!